All right, YouTube, today we're going to play some uh, bug mid-range, which is basically just black green from last season with four hydro graces and some counter magic. So I'm going to give this a try now. What did we lost to? We lost to Esper and we lost to Mono Red in our first league. Or a number of the three drop enchantments. Yeah, the three drop enchantments were underwhelming. All right, we have to play an elf. Heal through this turn. No land or elf from our opponent. So we want to draw a black source so that we can play Choops, Magoops, if we were playing a mirror here. A mirror that we're unfortunately in a little bit of trouble into. Our opponent's going to be able to take the ramp back, but hopefully we hit a black source. If we don't hit a black source, I think I'm just going to play... Or I can't play Krasis for... I'm going to play Krasis for two and just cycle. Next turn. Ooh, that's bad. That sets me so far back. Oh, that's a beating. Okay. So we're going to put a counter on this. And our opponent just like exploded on us here. We Chupacabra, we have to hit this, I think. Not that. I think we have to hit the mana thing. As sad as this is, unfortunately, I think this is the life we live. Then we can, like, Vraska's Contempt this, play a land. Could also like Vrasis contempt this and get our elf back if they don't cast it. Which they might not cast it because they're a little choked. Like now that we've choked their mana a little bit, they might have like better things to do than cast a land or elf. But with this hydrog crisis and this carnage timer, I'm pretty down with just um getting getting in there. But the problem is that this thing flips, so what does this need? Three counters, right? Put a plus one. If, then if that creature has three or more counters on it, transform it out of spine. I will trade. If they pognify one of my things, then whatever. I want to keep this thing not flipped. Okay, so they play their own land or elf. All right, that thing's dead. I guess I can actually just play pass. Well, I guess I should. No, because they're going to put a count. They might put a count on this. And if they do that inside of combat, then I'll just hit this and then play Carnage Tyrant. Then hopefully Carney T takes me to the the promised land. Our opponent's obviously scoffing on mana. They missed the drop last turn and they didn't. So they missed a land drop last turn. So Um, I haven't tried Res Esper yet. I don't think that's the style of deck that I really want to play, to tell you the truth. 
All right, well, opponent is getting on the board. Hopefully this Carnage Tyrant can just like, he's gonna keep the cast down on top. What are you gonna do? We're just following behind on the board here, unfortunately. Keep it on top. Well, that's cool. So I can draw two cards next turn and make a 4-4 four, four that is going to die to this um, Carnity or this this right this cast down. But it might be our only option. We're screwed if our opponent uh, craces is in their second main phase. Alright, there's this Zagana. I can't attack because we know they have a cast down. Maybe we just have to start looping Krasis's here. Or a fine finality. Alright, let's get some cards. Alright. Now we can play Shock Ourselves, play Llanowar Elf. I can kill that Hedonis Climb if I need to. But I would like to go up with my Vivian, but I feel like if that Hedonis Climb lives, then I'm in a lot of trouble. What is this? Oh, they just adapted it. Okay. That thing is big. I can trade Carnage Tyrant plus Llanowar Elves for it. And they cast down this, and I don't have a board. So I'm probably just going to take a shot from it and Chupacabra it. Oh, this makes the Hadana's Climb flip, though. Yeah, we're just, we're dead. Because the, the, the Climb flips. Yeah, we're just super dead. Okay. So in the mirror, I think we want this. We want this. I think that's probably it. Um, cast down doesn't seem that great. Wild Growth Walker is pretty good in the mirror, I think. Oh, but cast down is probably better because they have, <coughs> uh, whatever it is, Hostage Shaker. Cast down is probably better than Trophy. They won't want, want, I would probably want all my land oils in the play. I want all my mana. I could get a wild rope walker. I'm just going to cover my removal on the play. Try to be aggressive. I think that the Esper decks are also just going to struggle with like a growth, a growth chamber guardian shell. That like I think that like an Esper is gonna lose to like that rug deck that we played. Once we figure that rug deck out. Because like Growth Chamber Guardian plus Negate just seems awful. And this card and like keeping up with this card as a control deck also seems awful. Okay, we're gonna play now. And, oof, what a tilt. Can't play our elf on one. We don't have any removal, so like we're kind of going to get browned by a hostage taker. I'm going to play this, get this out here, save this wild rope locker for when we can do something with it. Because again, if they draw, like, if they play a cubation druid, we hit whatever it is, we can kill their thing now. Alright, well, rip. I'm actually not going to attack. We're going to go wild rope locker, uh, land of elf, 
Memorial. We can play Carnage Tyrant next turn. Carney T is getting it. Turn four tyrant. Both teams tried hard. And we get a crisis, draw two cards next turn, make a full four. Yeah, we just like elf them. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack. Another Crassus. We don't even have to cast. We can just go, we can just branch walker this thing up so it doesn't get fined next turn. So unfortunately, I think we have to kill this because we don't want them casting the their own Hydroid Crassus. I mean, can we just like beat over the top? One, two, three. They can Crassus for four. Like, what if we just go Land War Elf? If we just go Wild Growth Walker, Branch Walker. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven. We had eight mana, I'd be much more willing to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can attack. If I hit a land off the explorer, then I can do it all. Alright, this is okay. We just trade the board. We don't get our dude back, but we might be able to do that eventually. I think I'm gonna wait and get another card out of this thing. I could get fine. I could get finality really bad here though with this line. The finality was likely gonna get me anyway, so maybe I was supposed to just. I don't know. I might have played that turn poorly. Okay. And if I left the memorial up, I could have got back Carnage Town this turn, so that was not good as well. But we can kill something. I didn't play this turn very well. Where we play? Can we not get the control of the board? Okay, they have their own party T. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can draw three cards and gain three life. Deal. Though I want to get these out of fine finality range, I think. I think I'm going to put this into my graveyard and I'm going to memorial it back if I need to. And now nah, I'm just going to keep firing these off. This just draws two cards. It's a two, two power flyer. We get to play our own Carnage Tyrant. Vivian, okay. So I'll probably just contempt this Vivian.
And I could attack. I could attack the Vivian with a Branch Walker. Attack Vivian, attack them. What if I just attack. Attack them, attack them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, three. It's gotta be good to just go like this. Let me just. Attack my opponent with everything. They block here. We get in for 369. And then I'll just. Now, I don't want to do this. I just want to keep pressing the board advantage. <coughs> I could just swing. They block. They take 3 6. They find that I'm kind of in trouble. I'm just going to wait. Let's just deal with this. Play a tyrant. Then negate. All right. Well, now we can send. Oh, shoot. What happened? Well, that's annoying. I thought I was gonna. I was meant to attack this and play Carnage Charm. Let's just click through my turn. That's tilting. Now we should use the mana. Probably just get back another Crassus. And now we're gonna get back uh, Chupacabra. Man, we'd be so far ahead here if we had a Carnage Siren play right now. Just want everyone to know that. All right, well, we're going to have a Carnage Siren play. Oh, they have another. We might lose this game. Yeah, we might lose this game now. Do I just need to attack my opponent with everything? Yeah, I probably have to. Because then they go like, they have to trade at least some of this away. I just have to push damage. They eat this. Eat here. They take six. No. All right, well, I guess this isn't still isn't that good for me. Because they just, yeah. Oh, I'm so frustrated that the Tyrant didn't play last turn. <coughs> I heard you like Carnage Tyrant. I think Carnage Tyrant's fine. God, we'd be in such good shape if we hadn't clicked through our turn. Because we did, we're probably going to lose. Because like with how messed up the blue cards are, like, if Carnage wasn't in the format, this, this like, thing would just suck. <coughs> what do I need? I need, like, a fine finality. If I draw... One, two, three, four, one, two. I need, like, a fine finality. Ooh. Fine finale would be sick. Put the counters on my tyrant. Then put a blue card on for you because it's really classic. Can you scrub it out? I'm not going to the classic if I scrub out, I think. I think I'm gonna stay home because it's so close and hang out with Phil and watch the coverage. I think. Not 100 percent sure. Hey bud. Alright, making news. Yeah, I just I just super toss this game. I need a fine finality. I've got three in the deck. We're we're due. <coughs> I do really like hanging out with Philly. Alright, that's pretty good.
All right, let's draw four cards. Okay. <coughs> this game's going to last forever. Because they have to kill this. Next turn, we're going to chew Pacabra this. One, two, three, four, five. We just did this for eight, so we have ten. So we're going to chew Pacabra this. Maybe play a Vivian. We're probably not going to play Vivian. Probably just going to choop this and then play a bunch of Counterspell or play a bunch of uh. Probably is a stupid Vivian. It's just going to body me. I guess I just have to get my board stable and play my own Vivian. He's an emotional support dog. I, I want to. Phil would love Magic Tournaments. He'd go nuts, though. It would be so different. I wouldn't be able to play because he would just be losing his mind. Don't have another counter spell. We're just going to take this. I'm at a million life. Chupacabra this. Don't have a counter spell. Are you serious? Now we're just so dead because this thing's just going to make these huge. I should have led with the Vivian probably. All right. Take this Jaylet Ranger. Turn off all yields. We're going to have an explosive turn next turn. The only thing saving us is our that our opponent is at such low life total. Another Carnage Tyrant. Okay. Fine Finality is not even going to do it anymore. Just Nameful Strokes were nice. Seemed pretty solid in the mirror. And honestly, if they just attack with this, it might be worth blocking with my Carnage Tyrant to keep Vivian around. I think it is. <clears throat> what a slog. They make another ooze. They make another ooze. My opponent is oozing for days. All right, so the last card is Carnage Tyrant. All right, let's activate it in. Might hit a Chupacabra. We hit a Midnight Reaper. Okay. <coughs> All right, we hit a lot of lands. Play that. Play Midnight Reaper. I'm tossing these land worlds under the bus as soon as possible. This game's going to get weird. And I think I'm going to deck myself or Old Vivian, one of the two. I'm going to get some water while my opponent thinks. Oh, that's bad.
<clears throat> you coming at me, you coming at Vivian. Probably probably Vivian. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna start attacking my land worlds. Like I need to find answers. <clears throat> Yeah, we're dead, but all right, they're all right, they're going to take it. All right, where's another crassus? Probably just have to like. No, I should have. I should have played the crassus that turn in order to make them minus on their Vivian. <coughs> Get the Vivian out of the way. What a game. I think we would have won if we not clicked through our turn. I think we lost this game because we clicked through our turn. Like, we had them dead. We just didn't, um, we just didn't get there all the way. They had two timely counter spells for things that killed this, which was a beating. Next time we can crash this for a million, but the only saving grace here is that our opponent is at not a lot of life. You want me or you going to Vivian? So I can go one, I can draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty million. <clears throat> we draw all we draw all four of the crests this game. I don't know, it would have been interesting to see how this would have worked out had we not muffed up, muffed that turn. How do I win? I can find back Chupacabra. And Chupacabra. I can find back Chupacabra and uh, Branch Walker. I can Finality, which what would Finality do? Finality would do not a lot because this thing's still around. So I have to find, probably have to get back Chupacabra Chupacabra. I should have attacked first. This was stupid. Hit this. And then I probably have to go land. Attack them with the two land or elves. I should have did this all poor sequencing here. All right, we draw two cards. One, two, three, four. All right, let's go see if we can find another finality. Draw 
two more cards. All right, I didn't do it first, but we wanted it to. So now my opponent's going to have to start attacking me. We kill that, we draw a card. Okay. What a marathon game. Probably blow up a 7-7 seven, seven. next turn. I can go play all these next turn. <clears throat> Always, I have to do this quickly because, like, this is going to close pretty fast on me. Been a sweet game. It wouldn't have been this sweet if we would have not passed through our turn. So I guess there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Man, if we do hit another finality, though, like, finality leaves in with these. We put counters on here, and then we Chupacabra one of them, and then maybe we can do it. We draw a bunch of cards, too. We have two more in our deck. In the bottom 20 cards, there's finalities. So, like, maybe there's a chance. My opponent, like, turns everything sideways, though. This is going to be so difficult. I don't think they're going to time out. We need to hit a finality pretty quickly. Okay, this thing's got 14 power. Nice. Another climb. <clears throat> this might kill me because they pump this this is 30 <clears throat> these all have trample All right, block here, block here, five, block here, block here, Block, let's see what this does. We go block here and then block this. Then I'm going to take 30, 37, 41, 41 points, 42, and then I'm going to have one, two, three creatures die. So I don't think I'm dead, but whatever. There's 4, 11, 41, 42, plus this creature dies, this creature dies, this creature dies. It's 45. I go to 3. They have a Carnage Tyrant left. <clears throat> sure. Am I dead? Oh, we're dead. I did the math wrong. That's okay. 
I think we win that second game if we don't click through our turn and we play our second Carnage Tyrant when we get the chance to. But, I don't know. <clears throat> that was annoying. I think if we land that second Carnage Tyrant, we don't click through our turn, we probably win that game going away. But that is life. All right, we will keep this hand. We play Land Orwell on the play. Probably into um, I guess I didn't count that all those are the ones that trample. All right, so a blue white strategy. So I'm going to play Wild Growth Walker into another Land of Elf. And then next turn, I'm going to play, uh, depending on what they do here. Oh, so it's not, okay. So we're playing against like Nexus of Fate. I could put that on top. One, two, three. And I just put it on top and cast it next turn. attack with both and then I will shock put another land or elf into play we're gonna like not get settled wreckage next turn and we'll play Midnight Reaper. So if they Cleansing Nova me, then we get to draw a million cards at least. All right. They can't settle the wreckage me, so they have to have a Fog or they go dead. Yeah, we're just going to attack with everything. Because they can't settle the wreckage. So they Fog. Yep. Okay, we got him. All right, so we want negate duress and these cards we do not want. Crassus is probably slow. Find is probably slow. Chupacabra is not that great. Cast down is not that great. I think this is what we're gonna do. I could keep in like Midnight Reaper is decent because it, it protects us from uh, um, protects us from cleansing Nova. I don't really want the second target. I think we're gonna do this. This hand is slow, but I think I'm gonna keep it. We have a negate, which should be pretty solid. Um, and we have like a, a card to kill Wilderness Reclamation or kill Search for his Kanta. Search for his Kanta is annoying right here. Okay, two drop. Kill. We can't even really play our Reaper because my opponent just plays Wilderness Reclamation. And they've been keeping it in their hands, so. Now we're going to play a Wild Growth Walker. This is not a game we're likely winning. <clears throat> I'll let this draw spell go. 
because we have to. If we get to counter something here, I think I'm going to go Vivian minus or Vivian minus on search. Or I can hold up, mm, I don't know. Definitely getting in there with Wild Growth Walker. Probably playing Midnight Reaper now. Kind of sucks being put on any clock here. Maybe the Vivian shouldn't be in our deck. <clears throat> they flash back their draw spell. They discard Nexus, okay. At least they only have two cards in the graveyard, so this isn't flipping anytime soon. And they keep it. Don't spell pierce me, bro. God, if I get spell pierced, I'm gonna hurl. All right, let's test them. I kind of just want to take this growth spiral. Yeah, I'm just going to take this growth spiral, and then I'm going to uh, hit the Teferi with a Vraska's Contempt. And then providing again another turn. Um, yeah, then I'm going to go down and nug this. Okay, Ditch to Wilderness Reclamation. Which we couldn't beat. Like, Wilderness Reclamation looks real good for our opponent if they went for it there. At least we're going to do this before they even get to play another land. So their hand is, okay, so their hand is one unknown, root snare, double nexus, triple root, triple, triple nexus into, Hit this search for his Kanta. And cross our fingers. And like they can just explore, but like that's not that great for our opponent. One, two, three, four, five. Is there like a Carnage Tyrant? Seems like a Carnage Tyrant. Okay, it's a Crassus. They draw two cards. Okay. That was a nice draw. Guess I just take this wild growth walker. <clears throat> I think I'm going to let my Vivian die. But well, my opponent can just cast Nexus of Fate. I should just let my Vivian live because 
like if I if I just let it go when they're gonna cast Nexus and eventually they're gonna create such an advantage that just doesn't matter. And hopefully this is just not a wilderness reclamation. God. Alright, well at least they're not drawing extra cards. <clears throat> God, it would have been nice to kill this. And this is why I got how I get punished. Disappointed in myself with how this worked out. We're gonna like as soon as my opponent has another way to draw cards, we're gonna concede because that's that's usually how this deck starts to pull away. Yeah, you got it. F six opponent. Yeah. can't respond so again if this is to fairy then I'll scoop it up yeah yep you got it you got it opponent make sure just let the crisis let the crisis live all right we're gonna submit I think the list I think this is a good setup but I probably just got punished there for how I worked how I did everything I would like to play first. Um, it doesn't have any disruption, but it's a potential like potentially like land or elf draw. It's pretty quick. We can explore. I'm gonna keep. If we hit our second land, we're in good shape. We have a way to answer to fairy. It's pretty aggressive. Hitch on hard with my opponent. Land. You failed me. You failed me, Branch Walker. <clears throat> I have a clunky start for my opponent. Okay. Give me the duress. I kind of want to just take this negate, let them play their search for his Kanta. Four mana. If we hit a land, we can kill it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We have Vivian going. The negate's probably going to be good at some point. <coughs> My opponent had a very awkward hand. Like just how their land sequence. Like they needed that temple garden earlier. All right, land off the top. Get rid of this thing. Now we're drawing cards. Got a little bit of a clock. Comes the old crisis for two. Attack first. Guess I should take this. Probably should have taken another green source. Put that on top to threaten to kill this thing. I thought could land like a Teferi. The, they drew that. Maybe I should have binned it. Could have been loose. Kind of worried about a settle the wreckage here. Or a cleansing Nova. 
Cleansing Nova would be really bad. So I think we're going to go at least play another one of these, look to search for some lands. Wish I had that in my hand now. Okay, there's Sun Petal Grove. Again, I'm just going to let this happen. We have another one. Just going to attack with just enough. Probably going to get fogged. Okay. <coughs> so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's just play this and pass because, if, like, this is insurance in case we get wrathed. Play this this deck here we're playing against. This fog deck, you think? Yeah, I'm going to let this go here. I should upkeep the Nexus if they're going for it, but they might, they're like, they're kind of dead ended. They might need like a Teferi. Yeah, I'm just going to hold this rest content. I'm pretty content taking two. Let's just not get settled the wreckage. Um, I probably can. No, let's lose. I'm gonna go Vivian down on this. Okay, you have fog. Uh, so they have an arch and one unknown. So I'm sick of this thing beating me. Actually, no, that takes me off Vraska's Contempt, so I'm not going to do that. Because we just don't want to lose to a Teferi. <coughs> okay, so there's the Arch. One, two, three, four. Am I getting Wrathed? No, there's Teferi. All right, so they still don't have enough mana to Nexus, even when they untap. All right, you got it. Kamish's Insight. Do this now. Did you hit it? Did you hit it, bud? Uh, we'll attack. We can, we can just attack with all these now because we can't get sell the wreckage. There might be something weird that happens. All right. <clears throat> I do want to revisit the fog. I played the fog deck for a little while. Wasn't super happy with it, but I can give it another whirl here in a second. The problem is, is all these mid range decks, they're playing like creatures plus negate. I just get a little nervous about that because like that's tough to beat. Alright, playing against Esper. Playing against Esper, our hand's pretty solid. Or pretty solid, I mean we have two drop and a three drop, I guess. Yeah. Search is good from our opponent. I think I'm gonna play um, the Midnight Reaper next turn because instead of an explorer creature, because they they it makes so they can't wrath me. But they have to kill this, then wrath me. All right, there's a crisis. It's gonna be a hot minute to get to. <coughs> I 
uh, I probably shouldn't have done this. I mean, I can get two for one by a counter spell, but then I play this and they Teferi. Or two for one, not by counter spell, by a Wrath. But then they play Teferi. If I play like my Jade Light Ranger to put more pressure on, because I don't have any pressure on the board now. Well, I miss a land drop. Gas. All right. I should I should have played this one and not playing the second page again because they only have one blue. Yeah. Yep. 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 That was a mistake. I fucked up. Could have had one more creature on the board. Could have had an explorer, which would have been that. This would be just two more power. Fortify, okay. Yeah, I, I played that loose. Memorial's a good land, though. Dibbed and absorbed. They hit their land. Is it Teferi time? It's time for the hero of Dominaria. If I if my Vivian resolves, I'm gonna bust the search. Because if this search untaps with a Teferi, then like I'm dead. Alright, let's get in at there at Teferi. Let's just hope they don't have a negate. Let's start drawing two cards a turn. Alright. Not drawing two cards a turn. My opponent is the only one with a card advantage around here. Just like, please, Kaya's Wrath me. <coughs> this is kind of like not bad for the home team here, the fact that they keep just one for one with all these. Uh, we're going to put that in the bin because we have a fine finality and we can't cast it. Then our turn next turn is pretty weak. Like we can go land or else plus fine, wild growth, and like Merfolk Ranch Walker if we need to. Tech to fairy. Just get the branch walker. Just something to do on this turn. <coughs> I thought I might be saving the wrath for the tyrant. Yeah, we'll put that on top. Play this elf. Because now we're threatening the Teferi. And they might have to like pop off their Kaya's Wrath. We don't play a basic island in this deck, which I don't know if that's correct or not. Moment of craving. Doesn't save your Teferi unless you have the Wrath here. <coughs> um, attack Teferi, attack Teferi, attack them. I could hold this back, but I don't think we're going to get settled. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, they had the moment of craving too to deal with this. Okay. Let's just hope they don't have wrath plus 
um, counterspell. Yep. This is where we get buried. They show me a counter spell. I'm probably gonna scoop unless it unless we hit a blue land. <clears throat> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I draw three cards. I have a seven seven on the board. Or I can just draw two cards and get Carnage Tyrant back. But I'm probably going to draw a land, so I can just do that all next turn. Or excuse me, draw two cards, I'm sorry. I did the math wrong there. <coughs> I counter that. All right. I think I'm good here. They know we have a find. They have a Teferi taken up. There's no sense of sitting through this. All right, so we want this, this, and these. We don't want our cast downs. We don't want chupacabras. We don't want wild growth walkers. We don't need all of our land of elves. We might not even need any of our land of elves to be honest. Like I, I think Ginger was cutting their land of elves in this matchup because he just wanted his deck to be all gas. Brontodon's probably okay because it hits search, but that might be too narrow. Yeah, that's probably too narrow. I mean, it is big. Might be better than Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, it's probably better than Wild Growth Walker. Because, like, all this is is big. And this gets big with help, but, you know, take the guarantee, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, this is the currently the Nexus of Fate deck that I have set up. Where is it? Did I delete it? No, it's fog. It's what I currently have set up. I gotta work on it some more. Update it. Oh, this hand is poop soup. I think I've got to keep it though. Like we have a Carnage Tyrant address and a negate. <coughs> which are cards we want. We just need something to fill out the middle. Take this thought erasure. Because that trades with Tyrant, we want to have Tyrant go over the top. And none of these cards deal with it. I guess I could have negated it, but I'm gonna just shock this in just just in case they drew a search for his Kanta or something like a thought erasure. Alright, creature. Rats. This is how the game turns out. This is, but this is what I signed up for. We did suck that our two draws that's were lands. Uh, they haven't played their Hallowed Fountain yet, so this, they're just holding up this absorb right now. I could just cycle this, which is honestly probably just fine in this matchup. If he counters this, we at least get a card off of it. <coughs> Which is a land. I don't think I would have done that if they could have Teferied me. Ooh. Alright, I'm going to hold that fine for... They're, they're likely going to be able to deal with my... Uh, my Carney T. So we want to bring that to bring back Find and Crassus. 
or bring out Crassus and Tyrant. So they have Absorb and Contempt, then two unknowns. <coughs> I'm probably just going to, on my turn, like if they kill this, just find back the Crassus, play the Crassus for one, and cycle it again. Yeah. Because I, I want to keep on the board. Though it could be, it could be right to hold up because of Teferi. Yeah, I'm going to hold up because my opponent could Teferi me. We have Teferi through two counter spells. We can play Carnage Tyrant with counter spell back up next turn. Then this Hydroid Crassus can just be chilling out. Yeah, I feel good about this. <coughs> we don't have to worry about that search. Like the search search was hit is just dangerous. Did you hit the Kai's Wrath, or are we activating against Kanta? Okay. We can beat this. We can definitely beat that. Seems like an odd card to bring in this matchup, when, especially when I have Vivian Reed. I think we're going to walk into the Kai's Wrath, because it kills their thing as well, and we can follow up with a Krasis. And the crisis just reloads so well for us. Because like they're going to have to go Wrath and Absorb. They don't draw an extra card on their turn in order to have a shot. Cloud of Rage. I'm just going to counterspell that. Like the Thought Erasure is basically going to get all of my cards here. Probably shouldn't have attacked because you can at least save another turn here. You go to one. <clears throat> Alright, let's make him use it. They absorb. And they gain life in this. It doesn't change the clock. It does make it so they could have attacked last turn, this turn. But it at least dictates when this is done. And it makes it so they don't draw a card. With the search, they surveilled into the graveyard. And I'm just going to hold that land and then pass the turn. If they hit a Kaya's Wrath, like we're we're in a lot of trouble here. What do you got? Kai's Wrath or nothing. <coughs> okay, you got my land. Play the Glacial Fortress. Did you hit a Wrath? No. Okay, good. 
All right, picked up this game. They kept it in syncopate, even on the draw. All right, let's sideboard. I think we're just going to keep the same. It's not like it's a play-draw matchup. We're going to want to be, like, really going to want to dress to hit that search for his Kanta. Search is just so good in these matchups, especially when we're on the draw. Like, it just lets you get ahead to be able to deal with the Tyrants. These crises have been very... Uh, been very impressive all night. We got a mulligan this. We only have one land. Oh, we're gonna keep this. Put anything that's not a land on the bottom. We have a branch walker and a, and a good curve. All right, nice. We're gonna get to cast our branch walker. Take a search for his Kanta. We have a Kaya's Wrath. And a Thought Rage. So this Thought Rage is going to clean trade for... They might take the Branch Walker, but that seems a little sketchy. I guess I could have... No, I can't just... I can't take this. I could have brought it on this, I guess, but they might... That's so slow that they might find a way to deal with that. I should have thought about that. I should have taken a little more time there. They just straight up deal with the six mana card when I have two mana. Alright, they ditch an Absorb. All right, lands. <coughs> so we know three out of the five cards they have. We know their top card, top draw, their last draw is kind of random. All right, Breeding Pool's a good draw. I'm gonna shock this in. So if I negate here, they kind of have to Kai's Wrath me, and then I can um, untap, play Bronodon. If they go like Kai's Wrath into land into Teferi, then I'm in a little bit of trouble. So okay, we know one more of their cards. I'll take a land. Just to cycle this crisis, okay? So let's get in here and attack. And this is okay. You know, we need more resources. Make sure so my opponent has to go like counter spell into Teferi. That was a hot draw. Nope. <clears throat> All right, let's attack. We know they don't have any. We don't know of any counter spells. And I think I'm going to fight over this Midnight Reaper. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Like I, These decks... These decks seem so sweet, like pressure plus neg negate. Oh, that's nice. So we're going to attack and then pop that off and kill that search for his Kanta, and we draw a card off of it too because of Midnight Reaper. It could be lethal next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm just going to deal with this because we draw a card.
right. Contempt, or are you gonna? Okay, you got it. Now, rar. One draw stat. All right. Okay. I think there's a chance we can be three L in this matchup. Though I think my opponent's the game one version of Sultai is um the game one so pilot of uh the game one match with soul tie is probably not favored like they probably beat up on the mirror they might have a less a, a worse game across the format but we still would have won game two if we hadn't i still like 100 percent think that's what would have happened stay tuned i'm gonna grab some uh water i'll be right back Oh, we got paired. Uh, we will keep this hand. This hand's pretty solid. <coughs> All right, mono red with the white splash. Oh, we're getting wild. Hopefully, we can we can try to set this wild girl. Walk her up for a turn. Not gonna block. For a turn when we can. Um, why don't we stay? Okay, so it's, a, it's like the Mardu. It's like a Mardu deck. Alright, that makes sense. In your graveyard, we don't want that. We do just want to hit land drops. Just gonna trade. Don't want to take excess damage. Like we take damage anyways. To Judas is nice. Judas is nice. All right, let's get. I really want to set up. Um. We're going to put that on top because that's going to let us go Walker plus Explore next turn. I'm just going to trade off the board here as much as possible. All right, Legion's Landing. I'm going to trade here. Like I'll trade here if they attack. Let it go. They must have, that must have been a misclick. And here is the bane of every aggro deck's existence. And we can do it again next turn. We can find back even more. Yeah, this game's over. I guess I can find <coughs> Okay, you get a Legion's Landing. I'm actually just not gonna block with my wild growth walker. Like just trade, keep the walker in play. Probably slam Carnage Tyrant next turn. 
and then follow up with a bunch of uh, um, explorers. <clears throat> Dude, this wild growth locker package is so good against these acro decks. <coughs> All right, Rick's Mighty Reveler. I've seen this card be difficult to play with. Like, it's harder to turn on. Okay, so we want the Sweepers, the Scavengers, and the Brontodons. We don't want Carney T. Um, Vivian's Midnight Reaper is not good either. We probably don't need Vivian. Probably just cut all of our Vivians. Well, actually, no. I've, Vivian's probably better than all these Crassus. We can go down. Let's go bring in a trophy as well. Just get our deck a little leaner. Okay. I want a mulligan. This hand doesn't do anything. It's too slow. All right, we'll keep this one. We have a branch walker and a jade light. Uh, we'll put that on top. Yeah, we'll deal with a trade with a creature. No turn one play from our opponent's nice. All right, hopefully this hits so that we can trade. I think I'm going to put that in the graveyard. We just need lands at this point. That'd be nice to have just because it's big, but just snap trading this thing off. Okay. History. Okay, so they have history land as well. Interesting. Um, I don't know if we want the second one. It'll probably be okay, because things are going to start trading soon. It's going to gain us a bunch of life. Hey, Teddy. Oh, if TV made last month, I don't want to be so stoked. When do you know? Sorry, I, I missed everything I was talking about here. I just want to trade off creatures. Like we have these death core scavengers to gain life. Should have pumped this before combat so they could have mentored. All right, let it stage. <clears throat> okay, so I could just, yeah, we're just going to eat, eat one of these Boros Challengers. Play a tap land. We can just take a shot because these aren't going to be, like, we're going to take 12 here, but we have plenty of fodder for these scavengers. <clears throat> Crassus will gain us some life later. Yeah, I don't know when they're going to either. They're getting close. All right, that's a little scary. Probably have to trade now. So let's get rid of this history token. Then we'll um, chupacabra this.
Then again, we're just going to trade, play another scavenger, gain some more life. Bring it to Dallas. What format's that, Milk Dud? Conquer Tribune. Okay. All right, they're out of cards. I'm going to eat this Judith. Not going to block because we can eat again, play. <laughs> or we can play Jade Light Ranger. We got a three, which is a little low. Oh, I guess I should have thought about Skewer. That was stupid. This is stupid. I messed this. This is this was poor from me. Oh, we have a basic forest. That was a poor. I should have blocked. <clears throat> Probably want this. I'm just dead. Yeah. Yeah, I messed up. I messed up. I should have blocked, traded. I fucked up. That was dumb. That was dumb. I'm in about three hours now, so I'm getting a little tired, but that was still just a dumb play. The Crassus was slow, but we only have two left in our deck. That was that was a poor sequencing of from me there. I wasn't super happy with how I played that. All right, we get the old land royals on one. Gain some life with our removal spells. I might play a little more on and smoke this. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. Where's my wild growth walkers? I'm gonna hold this back because I don't wanna I wanna like I'll probably trade to not enable spectacle. <clears throat> it's modern in June. Were you talking about how you were thinking about playing Death Shadow Milk Thud, or was that another guy back up here further? I've been trying to focus on the gameplay as well tonight. Do a little multitasking. And again, I'm like I said, I'm just gonna trade because it's gonna make it so spectacle is not turned on. It's pretty mopey, but it's where we are. All right, I will gain a life. No play from the opponent. Looks like we're going to get our 4 1. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting a little not as much talking going on. Because I'm just getting a little getting a little tired. I could find these two things back. Alright, history of Benalia. Just gonna put the pressure on here. I'm gonna go Vivian and take it out. Especially now that they traded. I could go Vivian down, but uh, 
Uh, let's take Wild Rope Walker. So now we're gonna, even though I ate the wrong creatures because of fine, this is not playing with fine that much is a mistake that I made there. Right at the stage, what do we got? Uh, okay, let's see if we can find something to pair with this Wild Rope Walker. He didn't. <clears throat> I'm gonna hold back here. I'll trade this Jade Light Ranger with this, then I can find it back and trigger the Wild Growth Walker. That should probably do it for us. Some guy was earlier interested in picking up Shadow. I play a lot of Shadow. Yeah. Death Shadow's a good deck. It's very good. It's hard to play. Rewards putting the time in, putting the effort in. You'll do this turn. So now we can go with something nice like um, plus let's get Jade Light Ranger. Uh, play the Jade Light. God, I can't tap my mana tonight. Hey, I know I know a guy, Andy, that can help you out with that. Set you up real nice. I think we just hit this. And then let's just put more pressure on. Again, I don't care if my opponent trades with this at this point. We've got so much life that it doesn't matter. We're just coming at him from all angles. All right. Got the 4 1 there. Oh, the 3 1. Oh, geez. It takes a while to play these decks. Or these uh, these black green decks. <clears throat> I'm not used to my my hour and twenty minute league that happened last time last night. I've been impressed with this deck. I've been impressed with this one and the rug one. I think I want to try to get another one in tonight, but it might be a little too much on me. Like, this deck right here, this is the one that What's-His-Name has been doing well with on Moto, uh, BTCLA. And he likes this deck a lot. So, that guy's brain is big. Gross. We're going to keep it, but it is gross. Unless we hit an untapped green source on one. Ooh, playing a mirror. Tilt. <clears throat> the opponent has no plays on one or two? Jeez. Um, I'm going to play this so that I can double spell next turn. Go Walker and um, Branch Walker. Whoa, this guy's got fungal infection in his deck. Somebody hurt this guy. That's offensive. Suicide so deck to the VTCLA. Yeah, let me pull this up here. This right here. I just copied it from his picture. I might have done the picture wrong, but. What they've got on top? They put on, okay, the ooze. That thing's been putting a hurting on me. So we need to find a removal spell for that. ASAP, that is a removal spell for it. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna trade, keep these boards. It's cool to trade to like set up shenanigans and wild growth locker next turn. 
And I'm going to let him get the counter. Get, like a random 3-3 three, three is not really going to matter. Like we'll just contempt this. Um, on my main phase. I'm going to attack with the branch walker. Play a tap land. The, the next one's going to be a real problem. I'm teaming with... Uh, Andy, and uh, Andy's teaming up with me and my friend Delray. Andy's been helping me out with Standard. <clears throat> Carney T is going to be kind of annoying here. All right, another ooze is also really annoying. I think we're just going to crash this. This ooze deck has been impressive. Uh, we're attacking now. This ooze is just going to body me now. I'm on Tron, but maybe Dylan will teach me if it's a shadow. You're running 10 Legacy? Our legacy player is going to play, um, our legacy player is going to play Ant. He, him and I top aired an event back in July of last year, and he played Ant. That was an entertaining tournament. This thing's just going to body us. Like, it's just going to beat the tar out of us. Our only saving grace is that You're probably, I'm not even going to trade with this until I get the Midnight Reaper out. Could play another Crassus. Maybe playing the Crassus is actually correct. It's probably correct, to be honest. Yeah, I should definitely play the Crassus. But hopefully my Karasis can can get us there. I'm kidding. Tron for life. Praise to the Confather. I figured you were kidding. I've set up some blocks that don't kill me. All right. You got one turn, man. And I'm going to be at, what is this, two? I'm going to be at a million life. You have a lot of power, but I don't think you have that much power. A lot of people seem to think Dredge is very well positioned with the KCI banning, which makes me want to play Four Color Shadow. Uh, yes, that's sad. All right, this finality is going to have to do some work. My finality doesn't really do that much to even. Like I could just get back a Jade Light Ranger and a Hydroid Crassus and then play another Wild Rift Walker. That's probably what I'm going to do. Had to go online for a while. 
Thoughtseize. Yeah, Thoughtseize is nice. All right, I've set up my best blocks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Block this. This is two, four. And then I can get back two J Light Rangers. So I should block with J Light. Let's trade here. Eat this. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is what I'm gonna do because I don't want to like my opponent should attack with these unless they're unless this is like a fine finality. Wish I gained like a thousand life next turn. Okay. All of a sudden, we're struggling a little bit more. So I probably have to go get a, a back of back of crisis. Find, get this back. Get Jade Light Ranger back. Get these two back. Play Wild Growth Walker. Put in your graveyard. And now I play this memorial. And then next turn, I probably shouldn't have ditched that one. Play a Crassus for one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Player Crassus, it's lethal. And then just hope my opponent can't deal 35 points of damage to me over two turns. I do like... I, I guess I don't like... I have a weird relationship with Shadow. Like I think that Shadow is very good, and it's the only way that I can play the magic that I like in, in Modern. So what is this? This... This doesn't, you can't put counters on this. You can just make a bunch of them. <coughs> okay. But I think this is lethal. I didn't count, to tell you the truth. Three. I knew it was like a lot. All right. So we want everything that kills something, which we don't have a lot of. So we might want more targeted removal in this deck. Uh, Carnage Time is probably good. Um, I don't think Vivian's very good, which is kind of weird. Because, like, my opponent goes so wide. Oh, I'm just going to cut two land elves, but... My opponent, like, especially when on the draw, Land Orals are probably better on the play. My opponent goes so wide that I'm not even sure how good Vivian is. Maybe, like, Land Orals are better than Vivian. But if the game bogs down, Vivian's the one that just breaks it. Vivian's how it just breaks wide open. Distortion Strike and Soul Tie Shadow. I was playing Legacy a couple days ago. We're going to keep this hand. It's not that good, but I don't really want Morgan. Um, and my opponent played a... Was, I was playing against Death Shadow, and my opponent played a card that gave their creature shadow. Wow, no plays on one or two from our opponent is gas. Oh, shoot. Should have played that forest. We messed up, ladies and gentlemen. Put on top. That's our ooze killer. All right, opponent just scooped it up.
It just gave his creature shadow, and you couldn't block it. It was like a battle rage. All right, let's go back to this deck here. Let me just talk about what I think about this deck. Um, I was impressed. I think this deck's good. I think I need more targeted removal if that ooze is good, or maybe just play the ooze myself. But I was very happy with this deck here. Um, it might be correct to play something in its something else here, but I'm not super sure. But I was this deck was this deck this deck's nice. I think it's very good.